Hello, I want to share a few things about my project, so I finally get a spindle. This is a 2.2 kilowatt uh, ISO 30 uh, taper spindle with automatic tool changer. So it uses compressed air to change the tools, just like I wanted. Uh, it's 15,000 uh, RPM. And of course for that I get uh, VFD from Hitachi slash Omron. It's again 2.2 kilowatt and it's capable to drive it to, uh, to the limit. And this is very nice VFD, it's recommended for the spindle, it's supposed to have a vector control, a sensorless vector control, so this motor can be turned at very low speed, at very high torque, uh, this is what I like. And uh, this is uh, of course PWM unit, so it generates PWM, uh, so you, get, you always get high frequency pitch. And because I'm an electronics engineer, I am developing my own, um, uh, my own VFD, and I, I really want to make um, um, what it's called pure sinus driver. So this is um, basically a very fast buck converter uh, with a syn syn uh, synchronous rectification. And it's filtered by um, an inductor, uh, seven to, uh, seven, 75 uh, micro henrys and uh, 20 microfarad capacitor. So it passes, uh, it, it, cre it, it creates low pass filter and what you get you uh, plug uh, from microcontroller uh, 200 uh, kilohertz square wave, PWM, and you, you, you get a pure sinus in the output. And this is supposed to uh, handle uh, more than the, like three or four or five kilowatts at very high frequencies. You can handle up to megahertz, but something wrong, but was wrong with my cooling and uh, yeah, they exploded. They are gallium nitride fats. They are very small and very efficient and very, uh, very, very fast. So I really want to use them. Uh, of course, I also, as a backup plan, I have a Texas instrument, uh, EGAN modules. These are just enough to drive this motor. It's, two, it's around 2.2 kilowatts again. And I, I, I was able to push that uh, at 200 kilohertz. So if, if, my, if my adventures with um, GAN systems go wrong, always, I always have Texas instruments, uh, MOSFETs, to create a pure sinus driver. And here are the few tool holders. Again, this is uh, ISO 30. And uh, this is what I'm using for my milling. So, as you can see, motor is quite nice. It's, it's, it's quite quiet. It's not the quietest thing, but I quite like it. As you can see, not, not much vibration, not much nothing. I, Right now, I can't recommend this motor, and I won't, won't uh, tell you uh, who made this motor because I have some uh, have some issues with them. Uh, but when I sort it out and I do first cuts, I will tell you who the manufacturer is. Uh, this motor alone cost uh, nearly three thousand euros, so this is quite expensive investment. So this is more than my servos from from Clearpath. Okay, so let's go to the computer. I will show you what I have for. Um, the CAD design because everything I, I'm, I'm I'm trying to do everything in, in CAD and I think next year I will try to make my project because I after the work I have done, I don't have an, a lot of energy to work with on this project so it's uh, it's it, it's 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 running but it's running quite slow okay so let's go to the computer so this is the part of my design in CAD um, Okay, so the whole idea is uh, my design is governed by a few rules. Uh, one of them is try to optimize everything you can uh, for the parts you have. Uh, this is basically general uh, general rule. Uh, idea is if I have like more than like 50 centimeters, I have these carriages pushed uh, as much apart as I can to, to make this uh, part as, as stiff as it can. Because if I put this uh, closer one to, give, uh, one to the other, I have I will have uh, more twist in this direction and so on so everything is optimized also I am trying to put um, screws lead screws in the same axis uh, of the my linear rail guides so uh, x direction is, is is best example of this it's exactly at the middle point of this uh, rail so there is no twisting in the uh, so uh, the nut will not see any twisting action or nothing. Of course, these will try to minimize it as well, but all it sees is force into one and in the other direction along this axis, and not, no nothing more. 
Also, I have a I have a 32 to 50 uh, conversion. So this is this server is 6,400, and uh, with this belt, I will have 0 0.5 microns per step. Now, someone commented that uh, you will not get this resolution. I'm not trying to. All, all I'm trying to do is to get very nice numbers to work with. So if I have like uh, 20 steps, I know it's 10 microns. I don't need to do any s silly calculations. And of course, I will have encoders for one, one micron. So I will have very good diagnostic program for this for this project. If I move some part, I will know where I should go and where I, where my spin will go. And I can... Uh, measure all these, these parameters and said okay so the maximum deviation from for, for my part was like uh, 10 microns and, and it was on the this corner and, and so on i will have like error bar where's my spindle and where it should be based on my mach commands and uh, this part should also be made in one clap so i I'm, I'm trying to figure out this part right now uh, this will want to be. I want to make it one cl clamping. So this reference the surfaces, and this reference surface, and this should be made in one go. So this should be possible to do in one single uh, single clamping, and that that will give me the precision. Of course, um, uh, this part alone it's uh, around three hundred dollars of uh, only in aluminium, and most will be machined. These holes are just for lightness, and. Um, Machining, uh, I have quotation for this part, is 400 euros. And uh, it's quite big part, it's 0 0.9 meters, uh, and uh, it's 26 centimeters, I think. Uh, the, the tricky part is the, the bed. Uh, bed is, is uh, 1.2 meters uh, uh, times 0 0.9 meters, so it's very large. And I, 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 I wasn't able to find who can produce that the machine that large, uh, who has the machine that can uh, uh, machine uh, the surface of the aluminium parts uh, that lo large basically what I need just uh, to make the surface uh, uh, parallel uh, and that's it and screw uh, screw um, linear bearings and a um, few holes from this and that's it in theory it should work uh, so yeah this is the m my idea I have I, I nearly have the complete design but I will not go into show if someone have uh, want to comment on this please do and uh, I have one, one still have one question. Uh, spindle is 15 kilograms, so it's quite, quite heavy. And um, I can't fit, of course, uh, three of these because this part will be very big. So two in line, uh, I don't know it's enough. It's 30, uh, 30 uh, millimeters uh, width of uh, linear bearings with roller elements. Uh, in these carriages so they're supposed to be extremely stiff but i don't know if if i made if i place the spindle in this part will it will this part will be uh basically will give me inaccuracies i don't know uh, i still need to figure out this part but and uh, yeah after the work i don't have a lot of energy to figure out all this stuff i just want to relax and and, and watch some movie and stuff like that. It's uh, hard to do s nearly same things and work and again after the eight hours go back to home and work on the same things. <laughs> I, somehow I, I prefer the... Ele most of the time I spend on electronics and that's not great. So yeah, this is my project. It's supposed to end next year, I hope so. Because yeah, it's, it's as you can see it's a lot of money, 3000 euros for spindle. 2,000 euros for servos and uh, God knows how much money I spent for rails and so on. So thank you for watching and uh, yeah, this is my project and uh, it's it's moving but slowly. But I I, sh I should make this reality. I want to make that will be something you need. Nobody done this. It's the wrong way to do it, but it, I think it's it's engineered correctly, at least from my view. It's over engineered, but this is what I do. So thank you for watching and have a great time. Bye.